Welcome to International Securities Exchange's podcast series, facilitated by renowned educators. ISE podcasts are intended to teach beginning as well as seasoned investors the ins and outs of trading. To find an updated list of podcasts, please visit www.isc.com slash podcasts. You said the gamma can really hurt you there in the uh, short term. Uh, question for Rob, and I think this is to you. I'm not sure, though. Rob wants to know what the account minimum is. I'm not sure if he means for the IAC or for your services. Why don't you let's just say that it's for you, Mike? What kind of clients are you looking for? Uh, well, right now we're at a stage to where we we work with beginners a lot in terms of uh, we have self-directed traders and we have managed money. On the self-directed side of it, we definitely cater to beginners in that if you just <clears throat> want to start trading a little bit, if you want a virtual trade, we have a real high minimum that we require, and that's zero. So you can open up an account with us, and we have no minimum. We don't charge any inactivity fees. We charge no maintenance fees. We don't do any of that. If you want to open the account, there's no minimum. If you just want to kick the tires, we're more than happy to work with you in any way that we can. On the managed money side of it, we're typically looking for about $50,000. And like I said, the 75% of it, it's going to be in cash or cash equivalents. And um, if you have a smaller amount and you're, you want to kind of dip your toe in the water with us, we'll work with you in that regard. So don't be shy about that $50,000 mark. So uh, with that, we have no minimums, and uh, we'll be happy to talk and work with anybody. We, we, we very much cater to the retail investor in any way that we can. And that's knowyouroptionsinc.com. A couple more questions, Mike. I'm going to let you go. One is for me. Mike uh, has another question. He wants to know what the last day of trading is, ICFX options. Let's say that you know you have an expiring option. They actually trade until 12 o'clock noon Eastern time. So it's not going to be that Thursday at the close, and it's not going to be Friday at the opening. It's not also going to be at 4 o'clock. Uh, it gives you two and a half hours to close out your position. But like Mike said, I actually urge people to really think about it and say, why would you want to be in this for up until the last millisecond, with you know, the last two and a half hours? If the spot market makes a big move, obviously these are going to move because they're priced right off the spot. Um, you could be hurt or helped by that. Um, if you have a, uh, a view, I would urge you to just roll your options into another month and um, not have that gamma risk, the delta risk at the end. Uh, another question, Mike. Ed uh, wants to know, and this is just uh, his viewpoint, and he wants you to just confirm this. Is it fair to say that a key component to any option strategy is to have a sound research view of your underwire and forecast within a selected time window? I think so. Uh, like right now, if, if whenever we do a condor, our viewpoint is neutral from the standpoint that we believe the market's not going to move that much. We're looking for boredom, so to speak. The other thing that I would add to that, Ed, with what we do, we're ready in case it does, in that it's, it's very likely that, we're not going, that New York's not going to get attacked today. Hmm. But what I'm hoping, and I haven't been to New York in a while, but what I'm hoping is that, uh, Steve, you guys are ready uh, in, case it, in case it does happen. So that's kind of the view that we have uh, with how we like to do it. Makes sense. I mean, prepare for the worst. That's the way I always look at it. Patricia has a question about where I'm going to be next. Um, she's asking a question about the Forex and Options show in Vegas. Yes, I'll be there. Um, so please, if you live out in California or you're in Nevada, New Mexico, whatever, Texas, anywhere close by, please join us. Um, we'll be giving some presentations on the use of, of ISCFX options. Please go to the archives. Um, you'll be able to listen to this tomorrow because uh, I know Mike gave us some great information. You probably want to go back and listen to that again. Mike, do you have any closing comments as I uh, go through our schedule for the next uh, week, couple weeks? Uh, no, I have nothing. You know, just I, I, I really like the ISC option product just from the standpoint. It's simple if you're a U.S. citizen in that it's your, it, what do you think the dollar is going to do? We, you and I spend money in dollars, and I like the FS, the, 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 I, I've got a tongue twister going here. I like the ISC option product, and that it is all dollar-based. You can trade this in any brokerage account that has option trading capability. You can trade this in an IRA. You can use this as a hedge in the IRA for any foreign overseas bonds that you have. Uh, 
we did a what there's and there's an archive webinar that I did a couple weeks ago uh, for the ISC on talking about hedging foreign stock portfolios with ISD options. So the flexibility that this product gives you, I think, is very impressive, and I'd encourage anyone to watch these webinars that Steve's going to talk about shortly, because one thing, if I say the word guarantee, Steve's going to have me put in handcuffs, because he works for the regulator, but you can never have too much knowledge, and free education is a wonderful thing, and I'd encourage everyone to watch as many of these webinars as possible. Well, I agree with that. You know, let's see, Mike, you're going to be back here reducing your portfolio risk with FX options on August 25th, so looking forward to that. Um, next week, we actually don't have one of the best speakers that um, the IC has ever brought in. His name is Steve Meisinger. No, I'm just kidding. I, I'm... <laughs> I, I'm not one of the best speakers, although I like to think that I am just as good as uh, many of the folks. Uh, the other gentleman, Abe Kofnis, uh, could not make it, so I will be filling in for him and talking about hedging. So um, what you'll, hopefully you'll come, and uh, if you have any further questions, I'm going to show Mike's uh, email address one more time because you may want to go, because uh, Mike, as Mike said, um, they work on business hedging. So um, I'll go and do sort of that basic, the 101 class, um, but if you have specific questions, you may want to go to Mike Tussaud, uh and I will show you his email address again, mtussaudbrokersexpress.com, um, with anything um, regarding, uh, hopefully I enlighten you in some way of thinking of, uh, you know, whether you are an American citizen or any other citizen, uh, and you have too much exposure to currencies, um, you may want to hedge it, and you could use the ICFX options. Just think about options as the way I look at it is they're just an alternative. An option is an option. It gives you a choice. Um, and if you think about insurance, it's very, very similar. You can create deductibles with different strike prices. Mike will be more than happy to go through that with you at any point. I'll give you a sort of the beginning uh, presentation next week. Um, and let me go through that schedule again. So I will be doing that hedging uh, next week. And then we have Patrick uh, Sersna uh, talking about opportunities and risks for the global trader. Jack Crooks will be back with us an inevitable demise or new bull market for the dollar, and then Stanley Dash talking about uh, how you can use these ISC pair values. So, and, of course, Mike will be back uh, on August 25th. So, Mike, thank you very, very, very much. Uh, great presentation, and uh, I can't thank you enough for the time that you spent on this presentation. Always happy to work with the ISC. Well, thanks again, and hopefully you'll come back and even talk about um, some more intricate ways that you could trade condors. Um, I'm getting some nice compliments to you saying that you did a great job, so I would love for you to come back. Of course, you come back August 25th, but we'll have you back in the fall also. Thanks again, Mike. Really appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Take care and have a great night. Bye. So I just want to say thank you to Mike Tussaud, and I want to thank all of the attendees for uh, spending time, you know, I know that we all have busy schedules, but you all checked in here on ISC Tuesdays. Remember that we, you could sign up at the webinars, you could do uh, the archives, please come back, uh, www.isc.com forward slash archives. Um, you can go to www.fxoptions.com, uh, podcast, and uh, please join us again next Tuesday uh, as I'll be talking about hedging. Uh, and uh, as I said, you, you know, if you have more complicated questions, you can go back to Mike Tussaud at mtussaudbrokersexpress.com. Thank you, everyone, for attending, and I look forward to you coming back very, very soon. Um, your comments are always um, uh, considered as far as when you have any kind of questions or comments that you have. I read through all those and try to do as best I can bringing in guests that have um, different uh, viewpoints of the options market, the technicals of the, you know, the actual um, technicals of the market, um, and even psychology of the market. So um, please um, fill in those comments, and uh, thank you so much for attending, and uh, I look forward to uh, presenting next Tuesday. So thanks again. Have a great night. Take care from the IC. This is Steve Meisinger, your host, saying have a great evening. Bye now. Thank you for listening to our podcast.